Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the OC Show. This is episode 16. Next to me is Tim. My name is Peter. Uh, let's, uh, first things first, there's going to be a Q&A next Monday with, uh, with Tullius from India. Yes, exactly. So the Q&A is the occasion for you guys to ask us any questions and also to join in um, to our guests uh, that are on the show to ask them any questions you'd like. So Tullius is an overclocker from India, like you said, and we'll be talking about overclocking in India, but also what what is going on there. Uh, how is overclocking there? You know, is it difficult to practice? How many people practice it? Is there any gathering? Things like that. So join on the live uh, next Sunday, uh, August 23rd at 9 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. That will be 9 a.m. here. It will be around midnight in India. So you should still be quite all right to attend. Okay, cool. So let's uh, go straight to the facts then. So the first things first, facts, yes. competitions. So competitions haven't stopped during the summer. There's still no. a lot going on. Actually, probably too much for some guys. It's a little bit hard sometimes to decide where to submit your scores because there's so many competitions you could submit it in. And uh, the first of all is the Team Cup, which is the most, I guess, the most expected competitions of the of the year with the HWBOT Country Cup. It's a team-based competition. And this, uh, this season, we have 57 teams competing for the trophy. Uh, which is uh, basically um, being the best team at HIBOT, I would say. Um, so among the top three right now, we find classic platforms from the US with 843 points, overclockers.com from the US again with 763 points, and Team MLG from the UK with 605 points. Yeah, classicplatforms.com is already owning the old school is best school competition series, yes, which is yes. also a team cup, uh, well, team competition with the very old hardware. And um, Team MLG is in the top top three of um, the highest ranked teams on OC Esports as well. So it's the top crop that is competing at the Team Cup right yeah. now. Speaking of team uh, team competitions, the Noves Nimble has started as well. It ends on September 19th. As usual, we see Kaukot Land, uh, France, in the mm -hmm. top of the rankings. But we have two new contenders um, in, in the top three. The Hardware Looks.de from Germany. We haven't seen them in the top yep, three finishing. True. As well as uh, the Tech Lab, uh, Tech Lab Terabyte from Brazil, which is a team by uh, um, or led by by Ronaldo Arbuas. And it seems those two teams are actually pretty close because Tech Lab has 123 points and uh, there's 127 points for hardware locks and no hardware.info in sight at the moment in the top three. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but I'm, I would expect they're probably somewhere nearby. Uh, other competition that is also very famous, the Rookie Rumble. We are at the round 21 and it ends actually in five days. So if you guys want to participate, you better hurry up with your scores. Uh, right now in the top three, we have Zikin from France with 122 points. OMGCville TC from the US with 103 points. BB, B Baxter 18 um, from the US with 84 points. So there again, um, some Familiar faces, we were mentioning already Zikin and uh, OM, o OGM Seville in the last episode. So I guess those guys are soon arriving at the term of their rookie contract, I would say. So um, for other guys that would like to join, you know, those are the guys you want to challenge. Cool, yeah. There's also a bunch of uh, sponsor competitions. So MSI has a competition and Gigabyte has a competition. Gigabyte's Z97 last hurrah competition yep. recently had uh, has uh, announced the, the motherboards that were up for grabs. For, Which was uh, supposed to be that secret it's a, board. A mystery motherboards, board. yeah. Yes. So after the Skylake launch, they, uh, they they informed everyone that the prizes that are up for win are, uh, are two Z170 OC Force motherboards. So two of the orange overclocking Skylake motherboards, which is pretty cool. There's two, uh, two. There's two motherboards, so you can win one in the ambient category, mm -hmm. which is currently being led by um, by Arham from uh, from Indonesia, and you can won, win one in the extreme competition, which is currently uh, being led by Extreme Addict from from Poland. Yeah, so there's like still quite some time left. There's yeah, still 13 yeah. days left in the, in both competitions. So. So since you mentioned that uh, OC board, I would say that uh, since it's added to the prize as a prize, we could expect this board to be probably launched around that same time, maybe around end of August, beginning of September. Who knows? But it would make sense. Uh, talking about the MSI Godlike OC, which is the other competition that is a sponsor board running at the moment, three days late for this one. But uh, don't forget, there's it's not, not quite over, actually, because this is only the 2D battle. There will be a 3D battle starting in three days from now. Um, so right now, uh, leader of the ambient category, it's uh, Rawls uh, 9 from Peru. 
And uh, extreme category, we have Achilles from Hungary with uh, 52 points. And uh, pretty much the ranking haven't that much changed since last week. We find the same familiar faces. Uh, B-Boy Jess is second. Dan Cup is third. I guess this is probably explained by his vacation. Uh, we have also in the ambient, we have uh, Komias from France, which we mentioned like last time. So this hasn't changed much. No. Well, three days left. A lot can still change in the, pa in the last uh, 72 hours. Yeah, but if this hasn't changed much, the rankings have changed quite a bit lately uh, with the introduction of uh, the Skylake sk uh, k skews uh, by Intel. And here we've seen quite a few new scores, actually. So in the last two weeks since the launch, uh, rankings were well, on the night of the launch. Everything kind of changed. Uh, some scores have been taken back. Some scores have been updated and increased with backup scores, I suppose. And uh, we are also starting to see uh, new scores from guys that hadn't been part of the more, you know, select invitation on the pre-launch events. And uh, those guys are the people that actually bought CPU and start benching at home. And this are also, those are also adding some interesting scores as well. Uh, at the moment, which would be the, actually the, the, the scores that we should um, mention to the guys? Which are the really most interesting scores set so far? Well, as, as um We've already co covered this topic a little bit in the Q&A mm -hmm. from, last, from last week. And uh, the most impressive part about the Skylake launch were the seven world records and the 10 global first places on the launch day, which uh, were prim primarily or almost exclusively done with the ASUS motherboards following their yeah. Absolute Zero event. I think they, they even uh, put up a, uh, a sort of a teaser slash um, after movie up on yeah, the there's a well. video. Yes, if it's you want to see some liquid helium stuff, it's pretty yeah. cool. Um, and most of it was also done with the G scale memory. I think one score was done with Hyper X Predator. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was that was the big thing. Um, seven world records, mostly in the legacy benchmark. So Pi Fast, Three Marco One, Three Marco Three, uh, I believe as six. well. Aquamark as well, <laughs> um, and then a whole bunch of class records, the global first places where they, you know, Skylake is the fastest quad core currently on the market, especially if you, if you overclock it with uh, with liquid nitrogen, not liquid helium. Um, so yeah, a lot of scores coming in. We are now almost two weeks after the launch, and yep. we see about 500 Skylake overclocking results okay. in, the, in the database. So it's uh, it's uh, slowly growing, it's especially since the adoption in the US was very, very slow. It was yeah. not that much in stock. That is supposed to be ramping up in the yeah. next couple of weeks. True, yeah. I was talking uh, lately with uh, Leekhoff from, uh, from the from Belgium, and he was explaining that, well, since uh, we guys here in Taiwan, there's a motherboard and CPUs plenty available, but in Europe, uh, it's right now CPUs are available, but there's not that much stock of motherboards to choose from. So it's still a little bit difficult for overclockers or the, there's a bit of a lineup waiting for the orders to be. Well, even, so. even in Taiwan and Guanghua, the CPUs were not available. There were motherboards available, yeah. but no CPUs yet. So you had to pre-order or wait in line. And also I saw this weekend the French guys um, from Clan OC, so Raddy and um, Orion, uh, were having a little bench party and they were benching Skylake for the first time. So those are the guys that finally got their platform and start to benching on the L2, so very, very interesting. Um, there's another thing that is actually pretty cool what, that we wanted to mention today. It's the new version of uh, GPU Pi. So GPU Pi, that's a benchmark that is developed by the guys over at overclockers.at, so Matthias essentially. And um, so this benchmark is actually growing pretty fast. It's uh, mainly due to its tidy integration with HDRibot. And uh, there's more coming uh, from that that way, according to the news post that has been made at HDRibot. So there's some um, additions, some bug fixes, of course. Um, so there's some uh, fixes about the CUDA, and it's compiled with the new version of Visual Studio, all that kind of things. And there's also uh, integration with CPZ that is going, going to come along, and more integration with the HDRibot competition. And what would that be, actually? Um, so you already know that how the integration work with uh, HDRL Prime for Android, where mm -hmm. you can submit to the competition straight from the application. Oh yeah, you have and a little banner, right? You can submit. Yeah. So that is the idea with GPU Pi as well. Like GPU Pi would pull our engine and ask which stages are currently open with the GPU Pi. Mm -hmm. It gives a list back to the to the overclocker, and the overclocker can submit straight into the competition. And GPU Pi already does the screenshot and everything besides setting the wallpaper for you, of course. So I guess. Yeah, this is going to be like a much more automated thing to do, and maybe we'll see more competitions that are be more time based, so people will have will be able to submit faster. So that's pretty pretty interesting. Um, 
Another thing we have been up to during the summer is um, working on the overclockers interviews we've uh, recorded during Computex, mainly um, before Computex and during the um, HWBOT um, event, during the World 2 event. So we've overclocked, about, uh, we've overclocked, <laughs> we interviewed about 30 overclockers. And um, so we will be releasing one interview every week. So that should last us until March. 30 weeks to be, well, 31 weeks. I think there's one skipped because uh, January 1st is uh, is on a Friday and no one is going to be in office to uh, So no one will click publish on the video or no. the article. So, uh, so one, one our interview is going to be up there for two weeks. But so which one will it be? You don't, you'll <laughs> so just have to yeah. find out. <laughs> so if you're interested to learn more about your favorite overclocker, uh, go check it out. There's already a trailer online on the uh, LCTV channel so you can have a look. And uh, if you would like to be part of the interviews, uh, who knows, participate to one of the World Tour stops in 2016 and we might add you to the list of uh, interviews. It would be great to just keep on going I think I think that would be an excellent idea. Anyway, this was episode 16 of the OC Show. Quick reminder, on Monday there will be a Q&A on Twitch. Um, with PM. Tim, with Izai, with uh, probably Neo. Neo. Neo will be there. He said he will be there. So With Tulius from India. It's going to be a fantastic show. Until then, keep pushing it. Bye.